Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about a very very important topic called event handling. Students, please remember this question can be directly asked for ten marks. Okay, and one more important point. So in this topic, we have some subtopics, and these subtopics they can be asked for two marks. For example, write about delegation event model for two marks. write about event for two marks write about event sources write about event listeners now before getting into the details first of all i will give an example so based on that example you can actually relate this topic with that example okay first of all you take one youtube channel right so this is the youtube channel youtube channel and assume there is a subscriber for this channel okay so this fellow is a subscriber and whenever any new video is uploaded okay so whenever any new video is uploaded to this channel so this fellow is going to get the notification right so this subscriber will get the notification and the subscriber if he is free he will watch the video otherwise he can watch the video later that is his choice okay so this is what is going to happen in the youtube channel right now i will try to uh, tell about all these points using this example first of all what is an event event here is uploading an video it is called as an event so uploading an video is considered as a event here and what is a event source what is a event source means here your youtube channel is the event source youtube channel is the event source and here what is the meaning of event listener listener means subscriber is the listener okay so subscriber is the listener so whenever an event occurs in the source listen carefully whenever an event occurs in the source a notification will be sent to the listener so if you can understand this this event handling mechanism is a very very simple topic and all the topics in this unit are based on this concept only okay and now we will see all these topics one by one first we'll start with the event next i will discuss about event sources next about event listeners and finally i will discuss about the delegation event model which are very very simple okay now let's see the first one is event single end definition is an event is an object so in java everything is an object right so event is also an object that describes a state change in the source that describes a state change in the source what is the meaning of this so first of all take an example for a source i am taking a check box okay so here check box is i am taking some branch csc or ec anything any branch now initially this check box is not checked it is not checked that is the state okay so state is not checked or not enabled you can also say like that okay so whenever user checks this check box now its state will be changed from not checked to checked not checked to checked so its state was changed so i can say an event has occurred whenever there is a change in the state of a source whenever there is a change in the state of a source then i can say an event was occurred okay one more example take a text field take a text field so initially it is empty okay so here the state is empty just assume like the state is empty now whenever you fill the text field with some data like your name now its state will be changed from empty to filled empty to filled okay so in this case an event is going to occur right so what is the single end definition an event is an object that describes a state change in a source see the second point it can be generated that means event can be generated as a consequence of a person interacting with the elements in a graphical user interface okay so as i told you 
when a user interacts with the element like checkbox when a user interacts with the text field okay an event will be generated here are some examples these points are very important some of the activities that cause events to be generated or pressing a button whenever the user press a button event will be generated similarly entering a character via the keyboard and selecting an item in a list clicking the mouse so all these are examples that will generate the events all are direct events and here i have shown you some indirect events also so whenever a timer expires and whenever a counter exceeds a value or a software or a hardware failure occurs or when an operation is completed in all these cases an event will be generated okay and these are all indirect events okay so these are all indirect events so this is about the event okay so whenever it is asked for two marks just write this uh, one line definition followed by some examples of the events that's enough and the next one is event source event sources a very simple one there is a one line definition for this a source is an object that generates an event so a source is an object that generates an event for example if you take a button okay so a submit button is there so when you click on this button the button will generate the event so here button is a source okay here the button is a source similarly checkbox radio buttons and whatever the components we are discussed in the previous video all those components are event sources okay and sources may generate more than one type of event okay a single source can generate more than one type of event for example if you take a mouse if you take a mouse so mouse will generate six types of events and if you take keyboard a keyboard will generate three types of events next point a source must register listeners in order for the listeners to receive the notifications to receive the notifications as i told you earlier in our previous example so whenever you have a youtube channel so if this fellow wants to receive the notifications definitely he has to subscribe to this channel he has to subscribe to this channel here i am calling the subscription as registration i am calling it as registration so if any user wants to receive the notification that user has to register to the source then only he can able to receive the notifications that is the meaning of this point and how to register how this user can register for this source there is a method a general method that method is add type listener add type listener okay so this point definitely you have to write in the examination suppose suppose if you want to become a subscriber for mouse so in the place of type you have to write mouse motion you have to write mouse motion and no need of changing this add and listener they will be constant and in the place of type you just write mouse motion so then this user has registered for the mouse has registered for the mouse and how to register for keyboard how to register for keyboard just in the place of this type you write key don't write keyboard write only key and don't change add and don't change the listener add key listener this is how you can register for a keyboard register for a keyboard okay so this is about the event sources and the third one is event listeners so first of all we have discussed about what is an event and next we have discussed about event sources and now we are discussing about the listeners okay so a listener is an object it is also a one line definition a listener is an object that is notified when an event occurs okay so whenever an event occurs a notification will be sent to the listener okay so how to become a listener how to become a subscriber only through the process of registration only through the process of 
registration any user can become a listener okay so see this point here first of all the listener must have been registered with the sources to receive the notifications about specific types of events okay you can write all these things in your own words okay no need to by heart and second point after registration then you have to implement methods to receive and process these notifications so after becoming a listener the next step you have to do is as soon as the event notification is received what you have to do you have to process those notifications okay you have to take some appropriate action right suppose in our example youtube example as soon as you receive a notification that a new video has been uploaded you can actually do few things first one is you can watch the video right or else you can watch the video later or else you know you can do whatever you want right that is nothing but processing the notifications right so this is about the event listeners and the last point last submitting the delegation event model very very important for two marks okay delegation event model so whatever the points till now we have discussed in this video okay all are coming again here in this topic right all are simple points see what is the first point delegation event model defines a standard and consistent mechanisms to generate and process events so what is the use of a delegation event model is it is used to generate and process the events so how to generate the events and how to process the events second point very simple point again in this model listeners must register with this source in order to receive an event notifications already we have discussed about this point okay and third point the concept of this model is very simple there are only two points a source generates an event and sends it to one or more listeners right so whoever have registered for the source okay all listeners will receive the event notifications second one the listener simply waits until it receives an event once an event is received the listener processes the event and then returns returns means completes or ends okay so this uh, this is the concept of delegation event model a very simple one so whenever this event handling question is asked for 10 marks you have to write about all these things okay